Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial video on how to play Every Breath You Take by The Police. Uh, in this arrangement, I'm using a capo on fret two. I'm also using a flat pick in a hybrid style. Yes, it's finger style. Uh, this one is not using a thumb pick. So this enables you to get around the melody notes with these fingers while also keeping the riff going underneath. So the first part, is my third finger and my middle. Cross to a C, the whole first part again we get, it's worth noting with fingerstyle arranging, as guitar players, Sometimes we have to use a capo to make a song work for an arrangement. So originally, Andy um, from The Police played that chord like that. So it's a, it's a major nine chord, but to get the melody and that shape is pretty much impossible. So to make this work, it's a lot simpler and you also get the benefit of ringing strings. So, uh, there's no problem with changing the way a song is played to make it work. You don't want to change the melody, but changing a chord shape, a key, uh, whatever you got to do to make the melody work and the chords, um, that's what you want from fingerstyle. So you don't have to play it in the original key. You can play it with capo on five if you want the sound, the song to lift a little more. So in this instance, I'm using this G shape, E minor nine. Cross to a C, and a D, D sus two, and then the melody. Then across to this shape here. It's a big stretch, so three, five, and seven. So I do that so I can get the G to ring underneath. Second time, normal shape. Chorus. C. First part, G, B, T, E. This shape underneath the melody, right? And then across to verse. the bridge. So I'm doing an E flat major chord there and then across to an E flat sus2. And then F. So when you put those together we get So I'm using my thumb on F and then a triad and my first finger flattened out on first fret across string one and two so I can get the melody. So we put them 
together we get Second time Back to riff Chorus again Again. Outro. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pedal G to get the melody on top. So that there is my third finger on G. And then I'm playing the melody here with my porter finger. So we get. C. Again, G. And I'm going to take all of that up the octave here. So that there is fret 10 and 12 in regards to a capo. It's actually fret 12 and 14, but you want to think of it like fret 10 because this capo is actually zero, right? So whatever you put a capo on, if you put a capo on fret five, fret five becomes fret zero, uh, the way you think about it. It's actually not fret five. So you want to think of this as a G shape uh, of root five, so that is fret 10 and 12. Then outro. Okay, I hope that helps on how to play every breath you take fingerstyle. Um, as ever, please subscribe and leave any comments or questions below. Uh, if you'd like to see a full live performance of this with a play along tab, I've left a link up here in the corner and hope to see you in the next video.